Hi everyone, welcome to Career Bolt. We have Vibhin Arvind Dakshin with us today. He's a co-founder of Career Bolt and a product director from the Silicon Valley, having worked for companies like Salesforce and Amazon Web Services. So, Vibhin, we have a question for you from one of our members of Career Bolt. His name is Sasi Kumar, and his question is: What's your recommendation in terms of VLSI, VLSI compared to AI and ML when it comes to job opportunities, especially when it comes to compensation and job safety? Because there's a feeling that um, some sectors probably are safer and more reliable than other sectors. So what are your thoughts on this topic? Uh, firstly, hi, Sasi Kumar. Uh, thanks for asking the question. Um, it's a, it, it's a definitely an interesting question because it uh, compares very different things. So um, the question here is on, on VLSA and how that compares to A and ML, but it can also be applied to maybe any new innovative technology that comes with, uh, with in, in the field of uh, computer science versus traditional uh, roles that have been there in the, in the, in the industry. So a uh, few things I want to uh, call out here is, uh, for example, VLSI uh, design is something that is core to development of, uh, of hardwares. It's a uh, core to development of all uh, uh, computers that power uh, technology around us. There's a huge demand for the, the processors and for, and for memory devices. So the field of VLSI is hot. Um, and also because you need to have specialized set of uh, knowledge to actually enter into the, into the field. And it's not anyone who can walk into the field. Um, it is in some sense, it's, it's, it, there is a, a barrier for entry, right? So these two things definitely make uh, it a very um, interesting uh, job to actually get into. The pace have always been um, compared to every other job, a traditional job out there. The pay is definitely uh, pretty decent. There's also a very fantastic uh, growth opportunity that if you think about uh, if you're living in the, in the field of VLSI design. Or, and then you can shift over to multiple um, a new, a new technologies or new ways of doing things and you just keep abreast with what's happening in the, in the earth space, like, like everything else. But the, the field is really uh, hot. It, it, it does pay you well to stay in the field. Now, comparing that to something like uh, uh, AIML, uh, AIML, now if you think over it, the barriers are, are kind of like non-existent. Anybody can, can and will get into the field. Uh, you just need to have a good enough background and ability to work hard for a couple of years to get uh, expertise in that field. So that, that's the first part of it. So a lot of people are getting into the AIML field. Um, it's, it's not as exclusive as, as, uh, uh, as other fields out there. So that definitely means that one, um, there is going to be a rush of people. The value is going to come down over a period of time. Secondly, AI and ML is there. There is a, a promise for delivery of a lot of uh, things, um, but again, like every other technology, whether it's crypto, whether it is uh, nanotechnology, on a very different side, it is yet to be seen what exactly comes out of this whole process. We do see a lot of uh, uh, innovation happen, but uh, the judgment is still pending on what really is the outcome, what is the value that customers get, and how much is a is a um, the, the dollar value, right, that, that can be raised from all these kind of uh, technologies that have been put up, right? How, one, what is the value of the technology and how can it be monetized, right? So those are two things that are going to come into before um, value can then percolate down to people who are working into it. Uh, for now, uh, AIML is, is also a pretty broad term in, as I'm using it. Uh, there are data scientists, there are data analysts, uh, there are uh, business intelligence analysts, there are uh, data engineers, and again, all these are very different uh, sectors within the big umbrella of, uh, of uh, a artificial intelligence, machine learning uh, engineer, right? Um, and this, there's going to be very different value. For example, someone who's involved in building models, uh, predictive models as a data scientist, is going to be uh, definitely paid way more than someone who's just looking at, uh, say, data and uh, trying to find out some business insights. So a business analyst, for example, there's going to be a difference. So it really also depends upon where in the spectrum do you fit in. Uh, to be a data scientist, you also need to be like extremely uh, mathematical and technical. So there is some barriers there. Again, if going back to the barrier analogy, um, there are some barriers to getting into it. Um, but then the other part of other uh, spectrum is less barriers to it. Therefore, it gets diluted and therefore the value uh, comes down to. So if you look from the economic perspective, uh, again, there is a, the difference in value and therefore there's a value that's going to drop. So compared to VLSI versus uh, AIML, there is, these are the, the big differences. Should, um, should you look for a career, so as someone uh, entering into the field, uh, should you look for a, um, a VLSI uh, career or should you look at an AIML career? I think the bigger question should be like, do you want to continue, uh, do you have the expertise to be in, in that uh, VLSI design space? If so, is that enough passion for you to keep continuing and doing things in that? And if so, you should continue. If that is not interesting, that is not something that that's really triggers your passion, and if 
if a larger space of software development seems to be something that's interesting, data science seems to be uh, uh, interesting, for by all means, right? Go drive by your passions because end of the day, what you develop and what you get is based on how much you contribute into it. So you will spend more time learning about the systems, learning about data science, learning about algorithms, and then you can then use that knowledge to actually get some value out of it. Th th that's, that's my take on all this. <laughs>